What's up, gang? It's your boy Dollar. I'm back with another video, man. I ain't been on here, and I know that. Well, I'm finna be posting more, y'all. Like, for real, for real. Like, my life has been. I'm trying to set my camera up. Like, life has been crazy lately, man. It's, a, it's been a whole lot of, you know, just like everyday life shit, whatever. Drama. Um. Here to talk to y'all. I ain't been on here in a minute, and I know, so I just want to be on here to talk to a few people to see how everybody's been doing. Just basically, how's everybody's everyday life? Pretty sure y'all life has been a little bit better than mine's been going lately. Um, so we could talk about anything. Um, topic that I'm probably gonna hit up today is like um, relationships, marriage. And basically everyday life thing, you know, stuff that goes on in everyday life. There's a lot of shit that goes on that a lot of, you know, people that be on YouTube do not speak on. And, like, I know everybody going, woo right now about the election and shit that's going on. Hope that motherfucker Trump gets sent out the motherfucking office. Matter of fact, take that the office, nigga. But, um, man, I'm going to go ahead and get on this. I'm going to get right into it. Um... Basically, man, my opinion, my thoughts on relationships is from what I've seen with people and shit like that, how people handle that shit. Um, I don't feel like if you're going to be in a relationship, I don't feel like that if y'all go through something, you should just give up that easily. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing with marriage. What the fuck is the whole point of getting married if you're just going to turn around and get a divorce? You know what I'm saying? That's a lot. When you get married, that's a whole different ball game than a relationship. Relationship is, I mean, y'all can break up, y'all can be done. Y'all got no ties. With a marriage, you can't just break up. You got to go through the boys. You got to go through all this and that. So, it's crazy. You know, a lot of people who go through the boys, and some people, once they get the process started, then they want to renege and shit like that. That's what I mean. Like, y'all got to think about shit. When it comes to marriage, you really got to think. You feel me? Like, if you're going to divorce this person, divorce this person. You can't renege on the shit, you know what I'm saying? It's a whole process with divorcing and shit like that. Yeah. It's very different than being just in a relationship, you know? I'm married myself. I know how this shit do. Um, basically, oh, and if you're new to my channel or whatever, you just coming into my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. Any comment, uh, you know, I respond to any comments or how anybody feel. And y'all just um basically hit me up, tell me what y'all would like to see more on my channel, what you would like the topics, whatever that you would like for me to talk about. Um, I give very good advice to people. Like I got friends, but where I live at now, like none of my people that I really know live here. <laughs> Um, but honestly, I've been doing good, man, y'all. Like, I work still. Everything's good. Um, I do plan on moving. 2021, I'm supposed to be moving. Um, I'll be getting me a whip. I mean, if most of y'all who've been on here who's been following me and shit and watch my videos know that I've been working on getting my license and shit like that. But I got bills coming in, you know what I'm saying? Having a roof over my head and providing for my family is what, like, what matters most to me. Having a roof on my head, having someone to lay, and I have to worry about this, this, and that. Car ain't really a big thing right now. Because shit, where I live at, we got Lyft and Uber, and we got buses in this bitch. And I don't have to catch that. I mean, I got family and shit that I get to work to and from work all the time. That's not an issue. But I am trying to get my own car and shit like that. But getting a car ain't the problem. It's just I got to get my license first. Shit, I ain't worried about the money on buying a car or nothing like that. That ain't the issue. It's just when it comes to court and all this crap, man, it's, it makes it difficult. You know, when bills keep hitting me, I got to pay for this and that. It makes all my money going towards other shit, so it's hard to actually pay for my license. But I'm finna get them, y'all. 2021, y'all, your boy will be driving. I will have my license. Everything will be straight, cope and steady. Like. And I want to sit here and tell y'all about things, about different shit. Um, most of the times, like, when you have dreams. Most people don't believe that their dreams are real. Some of the shit is true, but all your dreams are true. You just got to know what they mean, you know? Like, I I dream all the time. Like, last night, I had a dream about um 
a social social security, you know what I'm saying? Like and it was like eleven million like where I'm at right now and more the more I let it grow the higher the money get or whatever. And I dreamed about that now when I woke up and I thought about that, I was like, damn man. Maybe my hard work is paying off. You know, and I was just I don't know, I believe that dream meant something. I don't know what it meant. Usually I look up my dreams, but I don't know what they mean. But a lot of my dreams mean a lot, man. I mean, like a whole lot. And sometimes what you dream about, like if you dream about money, majority of the time it ain't about money. It could, but if you dream about money, sometimes it has something to do with your financial. Maybe you're spending too much money or this and that. Like, for instance, like I've talked to a lot of people about this. Everybody got that different in their own fucking opinion. But when I was talking to someone before, about it they was talking about oh they had a dream about their partner cheating majority of the time it ain't about the person well, if you have a dream about someone cheating i'm gonna put this out there because a lot of people feel they have a cheating dream that they partner cheated that ain't never the case i used to think that shit too when you have a dream about someone cheating on you it's mostly about you yeah think about that it sounds weird but it, that's what it be it don't be about that person cheating most of the time it's about your insecurities or your it's on your mind too much you're thinking too much about it or your own insecurities and you feel like people are always cheating on you and shit like that that's mostly what it be mean you can look it up but it ain't about that person actually cheating on you so yeah y'all should look more into that and think about that man what i ain't been really doing much man besides working like I bought me some cologne and shit like that. I want to show y'all, like, I got some Usher cologne, and I got this Yacht Chocolate cologne. It smells really good. But anybody who knows about the Usher cologne and wears that, you know, celebrity-type cologne and shit like that, you know what I'm talking about. Usher smells really good, y'all, and it stays on you. Um, I ain't too many different colognes I dibble and dabble in. I try to stick to the same ones, you know. I used to wear Nautica. Nautica is a pretty good cologne. Um, Pitbull is a pretty good cologne. It's a tall black bottle, but he got another cologne, too. I ain't tried it, but I hear it smells really good. But this Yacht Chocolate Cologne, like, it's pretty, it smells really good. good. Really fucking good. And the Usher Cologne, it smells good, too. So I try to stick to the same ones. I don't really dip and dabble with a whole bunch of different ones. But I heard Guess is pretty good cologne. I smell Polo, but I don't really like it. I think people just like it because it's Polo, but... I mean, to each his own, but I ain't really a fan of it. Not really. Um, it was this other one. I can't think of the name. Kenneth Cole. Kenneth Cole is a good fucking um, cologne, too. Y'all need to get you some of that. That shit smells really good. Um, when I had got with my girl, which is actually my wife now, um, she put me on that when I first got with her. It's like a bot. It was a bottle, like a spray or whatever. But it smells really good, y'all. Really fucking good. But um, I just wanted to put y'all on that, man. And I ain't been on here in a while, so I was just trying to talk to y'all for a few. But make sure y'all like and subscribe. Alright, I'm out.